Welcome to the absolute dependent motion analysis of two particles. In some types of problem, the motion of one particle will depend on the corresponding motion of another particle. This dependency commonly occurs if the particle here represented by blocks, which are interconnected by inextensible cords which are wrapped around pulleys. In this example, the movement of block A downwards along the inclined plane will cause a corresponding movement of block B upwards. If the total cord length is LT, the position coordinate is equal to SA plus LCD, the length of the cord at C and D, plus SB. So this equals to the total cord length. Once we have the distance, we can use all these values to calculate for the velocity. For this particular example, we are going to see that SA will going to change at a given time, SB will going to change at a given time, but not C and D. So therefore, differentiated against time, this will going to be zero. For this particular example, we are going to see that since there are no differences in total cord length, this is going to be zero as well for the velocity. So this V LT equals to zero, V a CD equals to zero, and we are going to get uh, the V for SA and also the V for SB equals to zero. Or it can be represented as well using this notation, VB equals to minus VA. So what does this mean? It simply means that A is going down and B is going up. So B have positive sign and A have negative sign. The time differentiation of the velocities yield the relation between acceleration. So similarly, V dot is V dot B equals to V dot A. So we have AB equals to minus AA. A is specified by SA and the position of the end of the chord B is suspended as B. We're looking at this example. So we have SB, there is one SB here, there is another one SB here. So this is going to be 2SB. And we have one H, so this is going to be H, and this is one SA, so this is going to be SA. So the chord that we consider, the change will going to be L, and we don't put it as LT, because we only consider the L which is going to change with respect to time. Now. Since L and H are constant during the motion, differentiated against time, we are going to only give us with 2VB minus 2VA. Also, 2AB equals to minus AA. In terms of procedure of analysis, first we establish position coordinates with origin located at a fixed point or datum, and then the coordinates are along the path of motion, and each coordinate axis is directed along the path of motion. Two time derivatives of the portion, portion, position coordinates equation required for velocity and acceleration equations and also the sign will be positive and negative sense of the position coordinates. Let's look into the example 12.22. We need to determine the speed of block A if block B has an upward speed of 2 meters per second. So in this particular problem, we are given two chords. So this is one chord. So this is another one chord. So here we have um, SA and SB. So this is SA and this is SB and this is SC. SC is used to relate between SB and SA and the red parts are not to be considered because it doesn't change with respect to time. So this is red. So we have two total chords, which is L1 and L2. So we can write our equation like this. So this is going to be SA plus we have uh, this is SC and then this is going to be SC again. So this is going to be 2SC equals to the total length number 1. Next we have um, SB. Okay, SB minus SC. Okay, SB plus SB minus SC. And then we have here length of the chord number two so here um, when we take the 
time derivative we are going to have VA plus 2VC equals to 0 and here we have another one time derivative for SB so we have 2VB minus VC equals to 0 so now we have two systems of equation so this is 1 and this is 2 and here we can analyze uh, VA and VB so we need to eliminate VC so this is going to be 2 times 2 and then we are going to have uh, VA plus 2VC minus 0 and this is number 1 and then this is going to be um, 4VB minus 2VC equals to 0 this is going to be number 3 so when we eliminate this 2 Okay, we eliminate the VC we are going to have uh, 4VB plus VA equals to 0 so now since we have 4B, 4VB equals to VA equals to 0 and then we know that VB has the speed of 2 meter per second upwards okay we can say that VB if going up if going up is negative so this is going to be negative so 4 times minus 2 plus VA equals to 0 so VA equals to plus 8 meter per second so going up is negative so going down is going to be positive